No way, dude. What is that? Sometimes it's like, what the hell's happening to us? We just say that we're just being here every time is unbelievably cool. Love it. What's up, guys? What's up? How are you? Dude, look How are what's you doing? Happening. Good. Look what's happening. What's up? Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh, try to lurch them a little bit. <laughs> Aside from that, I mean, look at me and my little boy. Yeah, you look like a child. I mean, I look like a specimen. You don't like your photo? No, I love it. Okay. I think we look pretty cool. I look dominant. Grayson's the best, I think. It's so <laughs> Crazy. Kingdom just does it right. Taylor yeah, just does it right, man. Pretty good. No, that's too much. That, that should be taken down. But we'll be tomorrow. Just the yeah. one day shot. I'm, I'm talking to you in front of a locker that has Tiger Woods clubs in it. So, I mean, what kind of company are we talking about here? The best golfers on the planet play Taylor Made. So, what do you want to play? You're gonna notice that our, our beautiful prince, our charming, lovable baby boy Trent is not here today. Um, just a personal, uh, had a little bit of an emergency so he couldn't make it out to California, which sucks obviously, so we're gonna miss Trent and he's gonna get dialed in at some point. Trent Ryan will get dialed in at the kingdom at some point. You know, it's always a little nerve wracking that like someone's about to watch you hit balls for couple hours maybe and they're about to watch you with like all the stats of exactly where how far how good or bad you're hitting it basically like somebody stripping you down naked and judging every inch of your naked body there's like nowhere to hide no part of you that can hide that's what the kingdom is I've never gotten fitted I literally the way that rigs just broke it down seems a little bit threatening um, yeah geez. I'm excited. I'm, I want to get. I want to get. I mean, I guess you have to. You, when you see someone naked, you know you're gay. There's no. There's no hiding. There's no like high waisted jeans. There's no push up bra. You are here. This is raw. We're getting it done. Just see if we can get dialed in. I have a completely new swing than I did last year when I came to the kingdom. I'm a lot slower now. A lot smoother. I'm interested to see how much his swing That's has changed. Right? And if it is, if it's as much as he thinks it is. Body okay. feels good. Nice sandwich. Only one, two halves. It's best for you. Yeah. And actually feel kind of together. Yes, yeah, so you guys already got to. No, man. You will laugh out loud when I start hitting my driver how high I'm hitting. We'll fix it all. I had a nine degree driver trying to hit it as low as I possibly can. And he was like, nope, I think you need the eight. And then he de-lofted the eight and heel weighted it because like he said I never hit it left, which is true. So yeah, he's in the high 150s for ball speed, which is really legit. Now his launch angles come down to about 13. He's hanging out in the mid 2000s on spin. Just a baby cut, gonna wear you out and, and break par. Look at that, dude. That is just gutted. Oh, Eventually, no. as you keep improving, just like we talked about the irons, you're going to want to play weaker and weaker loft the driver yeah. and flight it down. This this sort of hedges against you hitting it high, but eventually you want to play a 9, 9.5, even 10 degree driver a little bit better or right. lower. Yeah. That's yeah. pounded. Man, that's so much better than where you were when you came. You just play that and enjoy it. You know, I'm hitting these little baby cuts. He goes in and enjoy it. Big old yeah. smile on his yeah, face. you're happy. It's fun to watch. Things aren't bad. I love the kingdom. Would love to mess around with some three woods and, okay. and hybrids if we have. Yeah. Do you um, hit three wood yeah. more off the grass or tee? Off the tee. And you know, the last time we came here, I kind of learned how to hit it off the grass. And I, I don't really put it into play. I said, I don't do that on the course. On the course, is it kind of low again? It's just... Yeah, low hooks and... I mean, if I could do this on the course, I'd be a much better golfer. Mm -hmm. I, can't, I can't get that kind of distance off the fairway. Hit, uh, hit one or two off the tee. Let's see what the number is. Both of those play around 240. This is an important one for you, right? You're going to have a lot of these 240, 250 it really is. shots in the par 5. So. I kind of like the setup, too. How do you do? Yeah, I'll show you the new one. Yeah. Okay, what do we got here? Um, uh, that's the plus head. Oh yeah. This is a little heavy. What's this going? Is that? Yeah. Is it heavier than the one I just hit? Yeah. And distance-wise, it's a little shorter, probably. Oh okay. my yeah. lord! Yeah. What are we doing here? That was a good golf shot. <laughs> that's a good golf shot. Forty-five. Yeah, that was that felt and sounded incredible. This stealth could change right. my game. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 
Oh my god. That's a good good way to say it. I'm sure, but like that's the three Alright, you're still plus. So how do I get still plus fairway gun? What's big time? Just 55 in the air. 255 in the air. What are we trying to reach uh, the difference between a three wood and a driver? 20 yards. 20 yards? Yeah. 20 from driver to three wood, driver to hybrid, or three wood to hybrid, 20. And then irons are 12 to 15. Whoa! Should end on the last one. <laughs> All right, I know this is the right club. No, I don't feel I was hitting a three wood that was a little coming in low. This has got a little bit more loft to it. Carrying the same distance, much higher loft. Gave him a little bit more kick in the three wood. A lot of times we need a little more flex in the shaft in the three wood to help get the ball up in the air. The other thing, he was playing really low loft, so he's hitting pretty low runners with the three wood. So a little more loft gives him just a more playable trajectory without losing a whole lot of distance. Yeah, they're up there and they're launched. Yeah, when it's it's a low heater, it's gone. It's in a back bunker. Right. You're up there, but you're not. You're gonna have to. Good one. You're still not like. You can't go green. No. You can't try to land it on the green. Right. Dwayne, I could kiss you. I mean, yeah. Easy kiss too. Giving out way harder kisses than that. No regrets with that kiss. Tong, no big deal. I'm confident in who I am. I don't know if I've ever had a launch that high on a, on a club like this. Yeah. Tons of upside to her effort, Ton, a lot of speed, good technique. She's got a stronger grip and, and doesn't present a lot of loft to the ball. So the overall theme to her set, how we're going to set it up, is, is a bit more loft, trying to create more launch, more spin, more functional gaps and trajectories, especially the longer side of her bag, and she'll be freaking dialed. Good shot. Yeah, I literally don't even have any like woods or anything. Oh yeah, we're gonna get you. My highest club in my bag right now is a five. So you have a big gap and you just yeah. have a five and that's it. Five and then driver. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna make it way better. Let's try that. Awesome. So for you, Hannah, another thing you can consider that would help you too is because you hit up on it to tee it up as high as you could tolerate. You think? It. Yeah. Let's try that. Okay. Yeah, that'll make it easier, and, and your best shots are going to be when you take the tee with the ball. So Hannah is 140 ball speed, which, for reference, that's like LPGA average, which is legit. So Hannah can hit it nice and hard. That sounded good. I never saw the ball. It went very high. Take a look at the numbers here. 142 ball speed, 18 launch, 3,400 spin. That was by far your longest carry. Okay and your farthest total. So if we take a look at the driver here, right, so this is a 12 degree set to higher, which is really 14. Okay. So every notch here is roughly three quarters of a degree loft. So I shot a f ahead too much and gave you too much loft. I just wanted to see you get it up in the air. This would not be a bad place to hang out. We can actually hit it a little lower by lowering the loft. So would I keep the T at the same length that you were saying? Still, still tee it up a little higher, okay. but I'm gonna take us down just a little Got bit. Got it, okay. Oh, oh yeah, ripped. Sounded good. Yeah. Can you hit any harder? Huh? Nah. I was like, I don't think so. I hit that pretty that hard. Good. Sometimes you just look over and you're like, is this real life? It's crazy. The coolest part to me is that when he had it on the higher setting and then I had it teed up higher, like I didn't even know I could hit drive that high. I was just like totally unaware of that. And then now, the T and the different driver setting is like perfect. I'll be hitting bombs by any stealth. What makes for a really good five wood player is someone who can launch at 10 degrees or less. Okay, so that was what did you say? That was 13.7. Right now you're hitting, you hit a little high, which may change over time. That's a great club. You could tune it down. Another option for you would be something like this. Try that off the ground and see what you think. Yeah, I mean, you could see like that, you could do kind of anything you want with. Yeah. And you could curve it, you could punch it, and you could play into the wind. This five wood, as high as you launch it, is tough into the wind. Right. Dude. Money maker. Man, you're hitting it good. He's got a six and a half degree driver and a two iron now. <laughs> yeah. Good. I just like the trajectory. It's a bit way more functional and versatile. 
It's still gonna hold the green, but you can control the distance a lot easier. That's a great shot, Reese. Can you hit any harder though? Can you hit one? Let me see you hit one. Dude, why wouldn't you swing like that? <laughs> That's how you hit. That was 241. That's how you should hit him. Come on, really? Yeah. Should like two iron 241. Hit it like you want to hit it. That's great. Oh, it's so good. Such a good swing. I love that flight too. That it's looks just, cool. It'll just serve a better purpose in your back. Totally. Yeah. Than that five. Wheel. People saw me roll up and hit that shot, they'd be like, oh fuck, yeah. this guy's a problem. His tempo has definitely gotten a lot better. So the shaft he played was a really kind of yeah. what we call tip stiff. It's a really heavy weight in the bottom feel. The problem with that, the way he's swinging it now is a shaft is a little harder to get flexed because of that additional weight in the bottom. So we took the weight out of the bottom of his shafts, moved it all the way up to the other end of the grip, which made it a little more counterbalanced or weighted, makes it play and feel a little bit softer. So because he is swinging in a better rhythm now, that shaft matches that move a lot better, therefore more efficient at impact. It's amazing when you think about all the stuff that you like my whole life just getting clubs off of uh, a rack and just going and golfing and then now you come to something like this and how much of a difference changing a shaft or a loft angle makes that's a good feeling iron man so we're going to keep cranking the same iron head uh, we're just going to try some different brand of shafts this is a kbs which should just give him a little softer feel 187. <laughs> that was, that was yeah. a big one. That one. So you essentially picked yeah. up the club. Which is yeah. crazy. Just about making the shaft react differently to the new way you move it. We still suck. We still suck. But you can still try and get better. Go get a little nip, nip, nippy. Dance on that grill. What we're concentrating here is just how it how that sole goes through the turf. Okay. Does it stick? Yep. Does it bounce? Does it go through gray? Okay. That kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, you suck. Try it, try one more. Thanks, boss. <laughs> you have nailed that part of the game now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you. What's this? The... Talking to myself? Yeah, that part. Just being... <laughs> being a golfer. Yeah. Okay, now same shot. Yep. With this. Okay. Totally different world, isn't it? Yeah. This one seems to dig in. Yeah. See, now that's yeah, just yeah. not. Now, the so last is this one. better for a high ball guy? It's usually. Because it's kind of holding it down, it, or no? It gets a little more complicated than that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's for, Classic. It's just we're all used to clubs so differently. Right that it requires different soles to get through the turf the way we move. Yeah. And, ooh, sorry. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Can't take me anywhere, kids. Good. Now, here we go. Right back where we started. Yeah? Yeah. It's pretty clear, isn't it? Yeah. It's wild. Yeah, it is. They're all the same wedge, just with different soles and different bounce angles and different shapes. So we need to find the one that makes sense for how we use the club. So you give them the low bounce all of a sudden and stick. First shot, boom, stuck it in the ground. Yeah. Well, common sense would say, oh, you're going to adjust for that one. Nope, you stuck the second one too. Right. Well, the low Sorry. bounce wedge yeah. is this. It's designed to help someone get under the golf ball. Yeah. So it is designed to right. dig down into the turf. Right. Well, for you, that's a bad thing. Yeah. You're, you chip pretty steep. Yeah. I need so to stay the bounce and kick the up. The bounce, the bounce and the yeah. wider sole helps the club start Stable. coming up yeah. when yeah. you go down. What it comes down to is how much of this sole is interacting with the turf through impact. Yeah. And the more it interacts with the turf, the yeah. more it's going to start coming up. She was telling me how she's never hit a fairway wood, so we got her one that she could hit high and straight, and it took a lot shorter than she thought it was going to take, huh? Woo! That felt so good. Finally got it. I'm stealing these. Okay. There's diminishing returns on loft because you hit the ball fairly low. Oh, yeah. So even a good shot with a 15 degree isn't going to get high enough for it to serve its purpose. 
So that was that's an 18 degree, and that was a perfect shot. That's as low as you'd ever want to hit it. Okay. So this will be your strongest lofted fairway wood, and then your next one will be 24. Okay. Yeah, so the longer side of your bag will have a lot more dimension now. How did I even just do that? <laughs> that's crazy. I looked over and I'm like, did I just do that? That one felt really good. That was crazy. This might be my new favorite club in the bag. Frankie did hit his driver more on the upswing, more of a shallow swing. His problem coming in, he get a little steep, ball will come out really low in terms of launch angle. And typically when that happens, it overspins, so you lose a ton of distance. Now we got him a little shallower, catches it more on the upswing, ball launches higher, doesn't have as much spin, carries much better and therefore a total distance is 20, 25 yards improvement. Well, what's crazy is I think that my new iron swing is affecting my driver's swing, so he's telling me I have to have a totally different one and kind of be like yeah. this and hit up on it, so I'm really trying to work on that. Oh, uh, okay. So like, try and come up on it instead of, oh. hit, instead of hitting the tee. Yeah, 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 yeah. I really tried to do it. Hype show. Where's your T71? 299. That's a good one to get. 299. Let's get one more. I gotta see a 300. Oh. That's gotta be it. Come on! Give it to me! 72302. Yes! Let's go! <laughs> yeah! I would basically kept him in the setup he had. He's got a Stealth Plus head, 10 and a half degree, uh, with a Fujikura Ventus red Velicor shaft, which is a nice uh, option to increase a little bit of height. You're gonna see me in all the new videos do this little like pre-swing routine just to remind myself to come up on it my new iron swing is down, my new driver swing is up. We're getting somewhere. That's a good number, 303. Uh, I think the biggest benefit of this head is on all center strikes, the ball speed does not change one mile an hour. So whether I hit a dead center perfect or a little toe or heel, I get the same carry number in essence. And that is amazing. I think he should own like the 770s and just keep getting better. It looks like he's gotten better already. And then just keep progressing. Going backwards, it's like you're you're hedging against failure. You, look at that swing. That would essentially be a perfect 6 iron. 14 launch, 6100 spin. Yeah, that's perfect. So, I, I, so that's like why would we change the clubs? Right now, no. There you go. Yeah, 14. 14 launch and, and 6,000 spin. Pop yeah, up. yeah. Gorgeous. What did we change? Yeah, that's my second launch. He just tried to hit that a little lower, just like he just hit his wedge and it's freaking compressed the ball. Now here's where it gets cool, right? Yeah. Okay, let me show you. Now when we talk about irons, so 14.6 launch, yeah. but look at the spin is on 4,800. That's the, that's the, that's the, I guess you could say drawback of a 770 is if you launch it properly and you hit it really solid, your spin rate starts to get a little bit low, which goes far, but now you have a harder time controlling how far. So when you get really efficient with how you present the club to the ball, mm -hmm. then you'd want more of a traditional forging like I an see. MC. Yeah. So that's cool. what you're saying. Yeah. Good thing I'm a Terramay athlete. If we get to that point, I'll just What's come back. Here? Just come back in an MC. That's a beautiful strike, man. Confirmed. Liked the MG3s. So we're gonna go 12 degree driver, set to 12 and three quarter. Shaft is the RDX, uh, red, 6.0. And then the fairy woods are the stealth. And that's gonna be 18 degree and 24 degree with the Fuji Ventus red, stiff. Hybrid with stealth. And then we're gonna go P790, six to pitching wedge. And then the MG3 in the chrome, not the black. 56 and 60 with the DG 105. It's exciting. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I want to go pick out the grip. Yeah. All right, we're in the putting lab. I was not in here last year. So, long time coming. This is just going to give you an idea of how you, what your strokes like, how you use the putter. Whoa. Whoa.
Yeah, that one locked in. Obi Wan. Look at that line. Oh, that was really good. That was really good. What we're looking at here is address aim position. Most importantly, we're looking at impact. The ball doesn't know where we're aimed, but it sure knows impact. Oh, now I'm going to give you a little different version of this. I want to see how you react to it. Okay. So what we're trying to decide is should you be using a base mount putter or a putter that has some toe hang or toe down. Well, this is, uh, things get pretty academic. This is getting crazy. So what happens is we get a putter that has some toe hang like this, okay. about 30 or 40 degrees. What we realize is if you grab and take your fingers on the end of this putter and just twist it so the space is parallel with the floor like the other, go ahead and do that. It takes some effort. Yeah, it does. Right? Yeah. So we realize that this putter is hard to close, uh, right? Yeah. Versus base balanced. No. I don't need your help because I just need to get it moving and it wants to right, close. Right, right. Just get it moving and it wants to close. Right? So that was kind of what that exercise, that was the same putter head in two different hosels. Okay. And here's where it gets fascinating. Aim, address position, where the face is pointed at address. Point eight is the right edge of the hole. That's how far out side wow. where you left being a lefty, right? Open. And then you're trying to shut it and find square which you did successfully the second time. Um, point eight, remember, so point two is great, point three is great, it right. impact, but you aimed two balls out, right. left, right. to come through square. Okay, I see where you're about to go to. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, dude. It doesn't get better than 0. 0.0. No. It really does. Well, okay, point zero eight. <laughs> right. And you, but you aimed point two, right. and return, turned it at zero. Look at the second one. You aimed point two, and returned to point three, we can play this part. <laughs> this one's going to cause us problems. Oh, God, that's amazing. I mean, it was pretty clear. Yeah, it's very clear. I mean, how many do we need to hit when you see that kind of thing happening? All of a sudden, it's like drastic numbers. I love it. You can see the difference up there. Night and day. Night and day. You show those numbers to just anyone without seeing the person. It's just like, pick which one's better. And it's clear as day that yeah. sample number two is better. I'm not going to become the greatest part on the planet. I will know that it's made for me, though. Right, the data is there. The end of the day, it's what we try to do here is just to make sure, identify what your tendencies are. Yep. Make sure that the equipment is enhancing and helping, oh, not hurting. <laughs> we did something right here, then. Nice. Thanks again. Love it. Appreciate it. Thanks, man.